So momentum <clears throat> is conserved just like energy is conserved, mass is conserved. We can have the uh, momentum before and after a collision is conserved. As long as it's in a closed system, I guess, where there's no objects entering or leaving the system and there's no external force on the system. So in collisions, um, we're going to do a lab on collisions with the air track because the air track takes out frictional force. There's no other forces acting on it. You're not adding any other uh, objects into or out of the system, so this is a pretty closed system. Um, but the initial momentum of the system, so of all the objects that are involved in the collision, have to equal that to the momentum of the system after the collision. And you got to sum up all the objects. They use the prime symbol for after. That row prime A is means the after, the final momentum. <clears throat> I switch it. We're using the same equations. It's going to be pretty simple, just applying it to different content. If you look at the board, we have a quiz tomorrow over momentum stuff, okay? You won't be here Friday? We'll see. I didn't think it was supposed to start snowing until like noon on Friday though. So it won't be bad until Saturday. So, if we have glider A is, has a mass of 0.35 kilograms and it moves along a frictionless air track with a velocity of 0 0.095 meters per second, it collides with glider B, has a mass of 0.71 kilograms and moving in the same direction at a speed of 0 0.045 meters per second. So they're both moving in the same direction, glider B is a little slower, so glider A is behind it, going to bump into it. After the collision, glider A continues in the same direction with a velocity of 0 0.035 meters per second. And what's the velocity of glider B after the collision? <clears throat> so we want the momentum before and the momentum after have to equal each other. So we would have A second, it's thinking about putting a pen up there. But if we think of momentum A plus momentum B is going to equal the momentum prime A and plus momentum prime B. And what is momentum? Mass times velocity. Yep. No, we're going to set them equal to each other on either side. Is it going? It's trying. There we go. So we would have basically the mass of A times the speed of A plus the mass of B plus the, times the speed of B going to equal the mass of A doesn't change, but the speed will. So we're going to make that the prime because that's the part that's changing. Plus M B B prime B. What? Okay. Let's put our numbers in. So we have 0 0.355. Three, VA is what? 095. 
plus 0.71. Okay, A doesn't change for mass. Same direction, so we don't have to change the sign. If the direction would have changed, we would have made it negative. But since it's going in the same direction, leave it as 0 0.035. <coughs> Excuse me. 35 plus 0.710 times. Now we're looking V prime B. We're looking for that value. Point five. <coughs> zero seven five makes more sense because it's probably going to be a speed in between point zero nine five and point zero four five. Point zero seven five meters per second. Yep, that is the velocity of glider B after the collision. Everyone getting that? Okay. Oh, I didn't have point zero nine five, I just Oh. On your calculator? Um So you have the left, figure out the left, then you're going to subtract the momentum of A after the collision, because we know both values, and then you're going to divide by the mass of B. You still didn't get that? Point zero seven five. Okay, same type of thing. We're gonna have a collision here. So we're gonna do the mass of the bullet times the speed of the bullet which we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out, the original velocity of the bullet. So we're going to have, what's the mass of the bullet? Right, 0 0.035. We need it in kilograms. We do not know, I'm going to call that VB for the velocity of the bullet, plus what? Well, it's mass is 5, but it's stationary, so you're taking 5 times 0. Yep. Equals 0 0.035 times what? Okay, plus what? Right, they both have 8.6 as their velocity. So what do we get for the original speed of the bullet? 1,000 what? 88? 88. 80. Very good. Did everyone get that one? Okay. One, two, three, seven. 
point two seven, you said? Point one seven. So I'll just put point two. This time, when we, you don't have to subtract this over because it's going to be zero. You just have to find the bright side and then divide by the point zero three five. Good. Um, what do we got now? That's it. Okay, so for the rest of the period, you guys can work on your chapter review. You should be able to do it all. And then tomorrow we have a quiz. Friday we'll do the uh, air track lab, and we'll have a bunch of different scenarios where one glider is maybe stationary, or maybe they're both moving in the same direction or opposite directions, or one's heavier than the other. We'll have a bunch of different scenarios that you can test out. So mass times change in velocity, that's momentum. That's impulse. Impulse. Mm -hmm. So what's the momentum? Mass times, just mass times velocity. Yeah, that makes it way different. 